doors. And then my eyesight, uh, probably have to uh, wear both the reading glasses on top of each other to actually get an appreciation of uh, what I experienced back then. Yeah, see, if you want an advert for diabetes, mate, for people to stop eating that fucking junk food and processed shit, then uh, you should just tell people, people that had better than 2020 vision, they had like the top, top 5%, and also the top 5% of uh, brain power going on there, and memory, you used to have that memory like, uh, you know, the ginger-haired woman who used to be in Taxi, I can't Mary Lou Henner, that's her name. Which is funny, because her, her hair is uh, coloured, like, you know, henna hair colouring. Ah, what are you doing there? Mickey the Bricky, I think this is Mastertronic. So he's bright enough to start doing some work in the kitchen. So maybe I'll build a couple of cabinets. But, uh, I think I'll go and put the battery on charge straight away as soon as the card fills up. Don't that worry, it's another 40 minutes or so. Unluckily for you. Here's Mickey the brick. Oh, it's Firebird. But that is loaded already. See, I don't know, it's like, I do have a, a HD Freeview decoder, it's like a separate one from Panasonic, uh, which also has a DVD recorder in it, but I've never used that. Um, there's no, I'd, I've never investigated if you could hack it so it would use a hard drive. It's not like it's using MS-DOS or anything, it wouldn't be automatic. You wouldn't suddenly say, oh look, we've got more than uh, nine, 9 gigabytes free, which is what you get on a dual layer. I don't know if it's a dual layer DVD-R, they're very rare actually. But commercial DVDs are dual layer, so... Hey. Hey. So Mickey the Bricky is like um, It's like a game on watch game I can't, I fucking went over so many It's fucking terrible you have like a picosecond to press fire at the right time for these massive character block move right don't work game is too fast because you're only using shitty characters well, I understand it's an expanded game so they can't do like multiple you know predefined graphics for smooth movement but um, you should have slowed the game down Oh, was there a centipede style game? Let's see if I can't go past there. Nah, how would? But there is millipede. Yeah, Mini Kong doesn't sound promising. Yeah, let's try millipede. Even though it's spelt wrong. That's because it's the, the failure of MS-DOS. Which underpinned Windows, actually, 3.1. And 95, I think. Although it's hidden, I think that was DOS 7. You just didn't see all that bullshit. It just set the, uh, you know... Don't, don't display anything. I think that's like, at sign echo off. At the start of the auto exit got back. Is this loading? Who knows, mate? It's good thing it's daytime. 
So yeah, I'm like, why are these people constantly asking me if my fucking car is for sale? For a start, I don't want people coming to my door. Who the fuck are you, mate? Just get the fuck out. I haven't said I'm, I've got an appointment for like, I don't know, tree surgeon or something. So why are you knocking at me door? And the second thing is, why would you think a car is actually for sale? Now, if it's never moved because it's fucked, then obviously, you know, that means you've got no money. You're looking for a car that's fucked. But I would never sell a car that's fucked because you get a lot of weird people. It's like uh, they blame you for their own stupidity. Fucking hell! It's as hard as grid run. Now where'd that little shit come from at the side? You asshole. This is better than Chase HQ on the C64. <laughs> Ooh, bloody brilliant. Ah, it's goes to show, isn't it? You should think of uh, other things. I bet hardly anyone recommends this game. Ah, uh, but what is shit's coming from the side of the screen? For fuck's sake. If it wasn't for that, it'd be really good. As it is, that's something I just need to account for now. Fucking real workout for your visual cortex. So. Well, I heard the woo-woo and I was looking at the side of the screen. Probably not a good idea. Who made it? I wonder which software company made this. This is not a typing game, no way, and this isn't like, you know, something someone just knocked up. Someone spent a lot of time doing it. What? You crazy? I'll stay up here then, you little bastard. Yeah, I haven't heard that thing uh, coming on the little dot, so maybe if we just stay one level or both. Or no, it does, it still does. What a bastard. I was pushing forward. I'm going to do a bloody level. Jesus Christ. Maybe there is no other levels. It is an unexpanded game after all. This is much better than Grid Runner. And people like Grid Runner because it is sort of like sensitive gameplay. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Grid Runner is a good game, I think. A good unexpanded game there, sir. Come on. It could be the last one to a new level. No, it isn't. <laughs> They're bloody brilliant. Yeah, the next time someone asks you, uh, why don't play modern games up here? I haven't finished playing the old ones yet, thanks. There you go. There's always something great to find. Unless you're one of these millennial prick babies from a fucking... If it's not on a fucking touchscreen, on a smartphone or tablet, they're not fucking interested. 
Ah, come on! Ah, he's really good, that is. I'm glad the camera battery lasted long enough for that one. Let's try a missile attack because we haven't found uh, a missile command clone worth a shit. And missile command is actually not bad on the VCS, they get everything right. The things that are important to how the game works. Obviously, uh, you know, use a joystick instead of a huge massive uh, trackball. But, uh, and again on the C sixty four, I don't think there is a good missile command. Obviously, I may have missed some thing that's got a weird name, but uh, of the ones I've seen, there's always some sort of problem. I did a special on that. J for joystick. Thank you. Whoa, this is weird. It's like a non-scrolling shoot -em up. What the hell is this shit, man? So it's like the R-type weapon, it stays there as you hold the fire button. And the reason you have to do that is because you can only fire one fucking thing at a time. Ah, if you move while you're doing that, you're a bit fucked, actually. So you can avoid them. What a weird game. Why are the colours so weird? I think they've just set like colour around. Why can't I go back? Wait. Yes, I want to go. Now another go. Make sure you can go backwards and forward. No, you can't. So where's the object to get to the other side of the fucking screen or what? If I'd known that. Right. So you move forward. And then you can't move back, you can only move up and down. That's probably a typing game. And uh, someone uh, fucked up one of the uh, peak and poke business there. Obviously uh, waiting for some sort of value. Missile panic. Let's try missile panic. Olivier penis. Nah, I can't watch Top Gear anymore. I've seen them all. And the early episodes are just such horrible quality. I probably would have been better off uh, taping them on my VHS, uh, well, Super VHS, but it makes no difference. Uh, VHS recorder. <coughs> off the skybox. Which you could do legally, but... Uh, for some reason, when you play stuff back that you recorded onto like an SD card or a hard drive from this TV, which it will allow you to do, uh, it actually disables all AV output terminals and it tells you. So that basically means you can record stuff on this TV that's connected to this TV, you know, via like another HDMI input or something. Um, I'm not sure how that works though, actually. But the point is, it's absolutely useless because it's all highly encrypted. The, you know, the way it does the directories and the files on there, you can't actually do anything with that SD card on a PC or Mac. So the stuff that you do record, you can never actually record off unless you point a bloody camera at the actual plasma TV screen. Which is a shit thing. I think I tried this and I decided it's fucking unfathomable. I might have done a few of these actually. Well, Mission Mercury could be some sort of shoot 'em up type game, so we tried that. I'm trying to think if I wanted to uh, do the um, Percept 50 thing, it'd be a bit tricky actually. I'd have to have the uh, camera fully charged. 
and then, uh, well, at least for one side of the tape. Ooh, Virgin Games, or Steve Lee. Very Blake 7 sound effects. Is it possibly still loading? No. Wouldn't like to uh, try collecting Vic 20 games now on tape or cartridge. I don't think I've got a copy of Golf. I'd never buy a copy of Golf until I've opened every single box and bag and package and God knows what suitcase mostly cardboard boxes though and then I know for a hundred percent sure I haven't got golf on the Vic 20 and because that takes so long to happen maybe uh, next summer yeah, if I don't drop dead from all this uh, bloody renovation work I've got no idea if this is going to work or not Please just say loading. Eesh. Now obviously that won't be a real problem on a real Vic 20, so I shouldn't really complain about that. Except that the people who made the C64 and the Vic 20, uh, yeah, they could have done things better. Okay. Bloody hell, it's Luna Rescue. And it's smooth. This is bloody brilliant. What do you expect? It's the uh, bloke who did uh, Falcon Patrol, isn't it? He's a really good programmer. And they're generous with the, uh, you know, the docking. They don't screw you over on that too much, so. So those things get destroyed where I'm picking them up from when you blast off. Ah, no, it's not that generous, Matt Commodore. I loved Lunar Rescue in the arcade, I used to play it actually. I think the version I played had the uh Ah oh, come on ah oh, please man. Wow, so you do have to be quite accurate because it's not character based. So simulating a bitmap screen with redefined characters is what I'm talking about. So like I always said, I always thought the Vic 20 was shit. Simply because I had uh, mostly shit games for my unexpanded Vic 20 and they are mostly shit. But some of them do pull off like a minor miracle, so the rest is one. So if you lose a life, you're a bit fucked really. There you go. So it can wait indefinitely. You see, it is clear there, but it's too far away. And now when he's here... Ah, yeah. See? Escape velocity lock achieved with fuck. So, and you basically have to do all three at once. Once you lose a life, it's uh, Reset City as far as Steve Lee's concerned. Well, that was a uh, touch and go. This is a great game for the Big 20. It actually looks really nice. Now, obviously, I've already done Skyhawk, which is a Falcon Patrol knockoff. Now, there's no time limit. So, I don't know if in the arcade you had a time limit. Oh no! So you have to kind of get it on the straight bits, which is fair. Ooh, that, see?
See, if I do uh, Lunar Rescue in Laser Basic, compiled Laser Basic, no, would it actually be as good as this? I don't know, you know. Maybe there's a thrust business going on. Nah, as you can't touch the blue bits. He's obviously checking the, uh, you know, the bitmap values for the uh, pixels. It's really, but you have to have this fast movement left and right, simply because, you know, it's, it's such a wide screen you got to go over, right? See, I know when I need to like launch the uh, vehicle, which is about now. So it's better to land on the edges, so the middle bit could be a bit tricky actually. Ah oh, no! Of course that one knackered, didn't it? That's really good that is actually. That's a very well programmed game. I must admit. Steve Lee was a really good uh, C64 and VIC-20 programmer. Actually, last game that I know he did was Falcon, which is nothing like Falcon Patrol. You should check it out. It's very unusual, actually. Definitely a game you need to have the manual for, though. Minitron. You reckon that's uh, like... Tron Deadly, there is a Tron game that I like, I think it's Tron Deadly Discs, Deadly Dicks, uh, oh it's Daryl Everington, okay, and uh, I think that's on the Intellivision, may also be on the um, Mattel Aquarius with a Super Expander, but I might not. See, people are surprised to hear that the Mattel Aquarius is a piece of shit, but it's basically a colour ZX81, that's what it is. It's not really any better than that, graphically. There's no sprites or anything. It's not the same CPU, I think it's just a Z80. So I'm surprised that they managed to convert so many games to cartridge for the Aquarius. I used to have a nice Mattel Aquarius, uh, but then I had to buy a very rubbish one. I had to, I had to sell it. You know, it needs must. You have to keep the old mortgage payments uh, safe. I never wanted to go into arrears, so I always had to have like one mortgage payment in the bank, no matter what. So sometimes you had to sell stuff, and it was like, mm, okay. I did sell one Mattel Aquarius game to a guy and uh, it was on a condition, he stated this condition, he said I don't want you dumping this tape, if I buy it for this price that I'm offering, like the old like, super expanded fucking Robotron, how can you have Robotron with such massive graphics? There's nothing wrong with that game, it's, it's literally they probably shouldn't have gone for multi-colour mode. They should have just gone for like one colour because the resolution is just way too, too little for that kind of thing. Nuclear attack, reckon that's me so come on. So I'm actually surprised, I'm finding uh, VIC-20 games that are like, they're really good for the hardware. If I went through the entire Amiga catalogue, I wouldn't have this sort of success rate. Oh, Liversoft, they did uh, a Popeye knockoff, I can't remember what it's called now. 
God damn it, there's no joystick control. Why do people do this? There's no way I'll be able to play this without, a, you know, the joystick control button. and full stop it appears to be and uh, A and S for left and right ok ah bloody hell um, fucking got me hands on the right keys now like a knob waiting for it to load and there's not even any coffee run out of roll ups I'm going to run out of battery power soonish But even if the uh, memory card fills up before the uh, battery runs out, battery doesn't fill up magically. Uh, I think I'm just going to put everything on charge, do a bit of work. It's much more satisfying after doing a bit of work to actually play computer games. You know, see my face mask and... Uh, Yeah, I might, you see if my, uh, if the fan worked on my car, not the fan in the engine bay, you know, the one in the, uh, inside the car. Yeah, it doesn't mention anything about the West Loop. and full stop, I think it's, I can't see, you know, that one there, yeah, they're weird angles. And, uh, what was the other one? A and S. Okay. Well, the city graphics are quite nice. Ah, uh, no, see, this has the same problem as all the, uh... That's not... Is that full stop or comma? Nah, you, you cannot play this game on keyboard, mate. Let's give it a quick nah. So there you go. Uh, if you're bored and you could have bit 20 shit, just hack this. See the whole point with uh, you know missile command games is this massive explosion that persists and creates a barrier. Otherwise the game becomes unplayable if you just turn it into a fucking sniper. It's not missile sniper mate. Let's check out a Pac-Man clone then, which I presume you see is called Muncher. I think one of the uh, VFD games I've got is the uh, yellow, uh, sort of like A4, it's between A4 and A5 size uh, thing, takes takes like four batteries, uh, it's called uh, Puck Monster I think got that definitely got one of the weirdest donkey kongs but it's not the coleco one um, i'm trying to think how big the box is where i've got all those in there It's empty pin. It's a bit slower than the other one. It's still character based movement. But there's no uh, actual like centipede coming. She's rubbish. She's worse than uh, Astro Wolf. I don't like it. It's uh, too basic. Back then. If someone had uh, just given me like a couple of months to learn machine code and uh, obviously the VIC-20 hardware reference manual, I don't know if I got one of them. Yeah, oh, what was that guy's name? I think it was called Retron Gaming. That was the name of his store on eBay. He stopped now. But uh, one time when he was having a bit of a clear out, I bought loads of tapes. It's like a whole 
carrier bag full of tapes. But also, he had a whole load of manuals up there, and most of them were like mint condition. You know, it's things like manual for an SX64, you know, it's not just like the regular Vic 20 C64 manuals. Possibly for a 1701, which would come in handy because I've got two of them. Actually, I've got the manual for a 1702 or 1701 somewhere. I think I did get it, but. Uh, So, uh, Munch Mania is not on here, so, uh... Ah, oh, now the joystick's sticking again, isn't it? So, yeah, this uh, wire business does need to be replaced with, uh... with some sort of...